Hi, my name is Henrik Nielsen. I work as a developer for Rail Monitor. Today I would like to show you how simple it is to gain insight into the condition of a railway track. So please have a look at my small demo setup. When monitoring the condition of a railway track, we are typically interested in knowing how the geometry of the track may change over time. In other words, we would like to know if the track has moved to a degree that might compromise safety. Many things can cause track degradation, like for instance unstable underground conditions, ballast wear, nearby earthworks or climate changes. We use wireless tilt sensors to closely follow the track geometry. A sensor can precisely measure tilt changes in two directions with an accuracy better than 0.01 degrees. By placing tilt sensors on sleepers along the track, we can calculate values for cant and twist, which are frequently used parameters to characterize the track quality. The sensors are battery powered, lasting for over 10 years. Data is transferred to a nearby gateway using robust wireless technology and the gateway collects and transmits data from all sensors to computers in the cloud. Because gateways are solar powered, you can quickly set up an entire monitoring system running with no cables at all. Back in the office or even on the phone, our software provides live information about the setup. OK, so let's play. I'm going to slightly deform my demo track by placing weight on a few spots. Now let's have a look at data from our demo. On the screen you will find a number of different display cards. Here we have the project card. This card will display information about the current project. The information here corresponds to our demo setup. Next we have the alarm list. This card provides access to previous alarms. And to current alarms as well. Right now there are two active alarms. One critical alarm caused by two high levels of twist and one warning caused by two high levels of Kent. Let's focus on the data for a second. Within this setup we compute four different parameters. Kent is one of them and so is twist. By clicking a card we get access to more detailed information. This graph is showing Kent levels at the three different sensor positions. And in the same way we here see the current values for twist. Here's the twist between sensors 1 and 2 and finally between sensors 2 and 3. Thank you for watching this video. Find us on www.railmonitor.dk